Jenna, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited, I'm finally sharing this video with you. It is our patio reveal, and this is something that we've been working on for the last couple of months, very slowly. Um, and now it's very beautiful weather here in North Carolina, so I'm finally ready to get outside and enjoy this space. Um, I really wanted a very calm, relaxing, comfortable space that was super functional for reading, for meals outside, for cocktail hour, for having people over, for playing with my dog, stuff like that. So um, we plan to use this space a lot and it was really important that it looked really nice because when you look out the windows to our living room that is what you see so it all kind of has to be cohesive with our living room though um, there was a lot of pressure to make it really beautiful in a short period of time before the nice weather got here because we wanted to get the most use out of it for those of you who are new here we actually got a new build home a couple of months ago so our patio is very basic very builder grade it's just a concrete patio with a cover it's very nice but it is very small so um, I didn't have a large space but I wanted to make it feel very cozy and expensive I kind of inspiration was a California vineyard. I just wanted it to feel casual and rustic, kind of like a uh, outdoor Italian restaurant somewhere in the hills of Italy, something like that. So I incorporate lots of natural and neutral materials, lots of linens, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how we did our DIY curtains. So I think it's gonna be a really fun video. So if you guys are into small patio makeovers or just like seeing patio makeovers, then stick around because it's gonna be a good one. So let's get into it. Okay, so first I just want to share with you guys these trees in the background. They probably will not be there. We are going to be planting some privacy trees in our backyard and they are just there for now, but they're kind of in a nice spot, honestly. So maybe we'll put some there in the near future. So many ways. This is the back patio. And the first thing that we started with was this rug. And I absolutely love this rug because it's a very neutral, natural looking rug, which is always what I go for in my designs. I just want them to be very light and organic looking. So one of my favorite things about this is it is lighter but it has some darker threads woven into it so if you spill something or get some dirt on it it's not as noticeable as just like a plain white rug which you see all the time in designers designs for outdoor furniture which I mean that's really brave but I don't think I'm that brave but I love how this is light but it still has some dirt disguising capabilities and it is an indoor outdoor rug from rugs USA I really really like this one and um, that was the first thing we did we rolled that out with a rug pad and I think it looks really great out here with our furniture. So after we put the rug down and then we decided to hang these lights up, we actually got these on a Black Friday sale from Home Depot, but there's a lot of sales going on right now because it is the springtime. So we bought two 25 foot strands. I think each one was like 20 or $25. So roughly $50 for all these lights. And we just wanted to hang them back and forth. Um, I didn't want them to be too um, close to the ceiling. I like the look of them kind of sagging down a bit. I think that looks really whimsical and just cozy. We kind of had some problems with the length. I think eventually we will get an extension cord out here and then finish that off in that end so it's not kind of awkwardly bunched down there, but we just kind of wanted to get them up for now. So we then attached them with cup hooks that we just screwed into the wall and it was really, really simple. So um, I love adding lights to any outdoor space. I just feel like it instantly makes it feel a lot more cozy. And you know, if you had an Italian village on the hillside, they'd probably have some, you know, outdoor lights, so. So the next thing that we had to get was outdoor furniture and I actually had one on Wayfair all ready to go. It was in the cart. We were about to buy it and I was like, let's just go check home goods one more time. And they had this beautiful outdoor set. It was $1,300 for um, the sofa, two love seats and the coffee table. I was like, wait, should we get this instead of the Wayfair one? And Mike was like, I don't know. And so I got up and I left it. And then when I came back, people were just like swarming over it. And I was like, no. We're getting it <laughs> um, and I really am glad we did because it's super comfortable it looks really expensive in my opinion and I love the light linen-y fabric I love the wicker on here I love the curved backs so when we brought it home, the first thing I did was I sprayed it with a Scotch Guard just so, you know, I had peace of mind knowing that the cushions would just be a little bit more durable. Even though we are under a cover and everything, I just felt like, why not give yourself a little bit of extra insurance? So yes, love this outdoor set. It was such a find. I will link the one that I was looking at on Wayfair because I still think that would have looked really great out here. But, you know, I saw this and I was like, I gotta have it because it was very unique and I was a little worried it'd be too beachy, but um, I think that it looks really nice out here combined with all of the other 
modern-ish elements. Um, the only thing I think I might change out in the future would be this coffee table. I don't love how it um, is so curved. I kind of would like something a little more modern to contrast the curved edges of this chair, but that's just me being really picky. One thing I do like about it is how it has the space underneath to store, you know, my citronella candle, bug spray, coasters, stuff like that that you don't want on the top of the table, but you still need close by. So that's one really nice thing about it. And I think if we did DIY something or get something else in the future, I would make sure that it had that. Um, and then these pillows, funny story I actually searched high and low for some outdoor pillows and I just could not find them anywhere that were the ones that I wanted so um, I decided to go with non outdoor pillows and then I just gave them a coat of uh, scotch guard so they're not outdoors in the sun or you know directly exposed to the elements so I figured they'd be okay and these were both $20 each at Target they are the threshold brand and I just love that very light linen-y casual look of them I think they look very classic with this navy blue stripe on there and definitely worth just getting something that I loved and putting the scotch guard on them I thought that that was kind of a good solution if you can't find an outdoor pillow that you love because sometimes it's hard because um, you're a lot more limited with the styles and stuff you can pick this is not a down fill which i think is important if you are going to do something like that i would not get something with feathers in it and put that outdoors so um yeah but i really really love these pillows i think they give it like a very nice casual airy vibe and just make it a lot nicer i was going to put some on the two chairs but then you know when a chair just gets too crowded with a pillow i didn't want that so i just put them here for if i'm like reading a book or laying down or something like that so it's also the first thing that you see when you walk out of our screen porch door. So I thought that that was a good spot for them. So the next thing I want to talk about that I feel like can honestly make or break your outdoor patio space is plants. When looking for a statement plant, I really wanted an olive bush or tree because that is just the staple of rustic to me. And if you guys watch my videos, you guys know I'm olive branch slash tree obsessed. So naturally I wanted one out here. Um, but when I went to my local nursery, they were very expensive. I could either get a little bush for $60 or a larger bush for $260, I believe. So I was like, uh... I don't know about that so I really searched and asked all of the nursery employees like what they thought a good olive tree uh, substitute was and I will insert what it is here I don't think I can pronounce it correctly so this guy was 40 bucks and I feel like it looks very comparable to an olive tree and um, it has that kind of rustic look that I was going for I really love the jade coloring of it it actually starts out kind of like a lighter reddish green and then it matures to this beautiful jade color i just put in this gorgeous planter from lowe's and for i think it was 60 bucks that is such a good deal for this size planter i really love that like limestoney concrete look i think that looks very rustic and for me it was very important to get kind of a very rustic looking plant and planter since our patio furniture could be considered a little bit more beachy so I didn't want it to go in the total beachy direction I wanted to kind of ground it with some more rustic elements and I think that this planter really does that this planter is like one of my favorite things out of everything on this patio so I will link that below um, if you do decide to get it though it is really freaking heavy so definitely bring somebody with you to help you carry it because I didn't have anyone and I was struggling hardcore so um, yeah, that's the planter story. I really like this girl. Her name is Jade because she's that beautiful Jade color. So far, she's been really easy to take care of and I love the beautiful like California rustic vibe she gives to the space. So um, then as far as these plants over here, I got these little planters at Lowe's as well. And the small ones were $7, I believe. And then the larger one was like 12 bucks. So I thought it was cool because they have little drainage holes in the bottom. And then I bought these little plates. So when I'm watering, I don't have to worry about getting the coffee table wet or anything like that. Makes it really easy. And then I got some lavender and some rosemary for cooking and drinks. I thought it would be just kind of nice to have that out here. Um, I think that they're a really beautiful decorative plant as well as functional and you guys know I'm all about the decoration and function at the same time so it's a no-brainer to get some rosemary and lavender out here and then this guy I just got purely for looks it is some lamb's ear and I just think the texture on here is so unique and beautiful it was about six or seven dollars at Lowe's so 
Um, I think that that looks really, really pretty in the center, and I like the big one kind of complemented with the two smaller plants. I think that symmetry is really important when you have like a conversation set or something like that. I think it's nice to add elements of that, so it just feels very visually pleasing to the eye. So yeah, that is a plant story out here. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about are these curtains and how we kind of DIY them. So what I did first is I started with just a panel that I bought online at Snow City and that's just kind of a website I came across when I was looking for outdoor curtains. So these are actually waterproof, which was like a big thing for me. I did not want to have to constantly be washing my curtains or just having to like spray them with Scotchgard or anything like that. So um, I wanted them to be very durable just because they are probably going to be prone to blowing in the rain and wind and stuff like that so I didn't want to mess around they were 20 bucks a panel and I got the long ones because I figured if they were too long I could just shorten them but they honestly seem to be a pretty great length then we decided to hang them with conduit so we measured each opening in our little patio here and we went to Lowe's with those measurements and then they just cut the conduit there for you at Lowe's so it was really simple um, we brought it home and I spray painted it with a rust-oleum like rust stopper spray that happened to be black so i really wanted to make them black because i feel like that looks very classic i just personally think black and white looks very high end so i liked the color combo with the light curtains and then the black rod so then i spray painted all that i also spray painted the little cup hooks that we used to hang them so before i spray painted them we actually took the little cup hooks and spray stretch them out just a little bit because um, they wouldn't fit on these one inch conduit poles so um, we just stretched them so they were able to slide in there correctly and then we just installed the little cup hooks into the ceiling we measured accordingly and just slid the conduit right in there with the curtains and everything and then we put some little um, rubber stoppers that we just got from Home Depot on the end and it's important because if you're going to Lowe's uh, they only have the little rubber stoppers that we found at Home Depot maybe your Lowe's has them but we looked at Lowe's and they didn't have them so um, we just got those for both ends and uh, voila then we hung them all up and, and I think that it turned out really really pretty it's nice to have the option have some privacy and I do think that it just adds like kind of like that restaurant -y vibe or you know kind of like a relaxed very breezy airy feel to the space so I really do like the outdoor curtains one thing that I do think makes them look really expensive is I just ended up taking some little leather cording that I got at Michael's and then I just tied them down with that and I think that leather accents just look really expensive and they do look very rustic and you know vineyardy vibe in my personal opinion I just tied those into little loops we put some more white little cup screws against the posts here so we could tie them down for when it rains or whatever and yeah I just attached that with the leather pull and I think that that just looks really expensive and really beautiful and I just spent like five bucks on the leather cording so um, I think that it looks like they were leather ties made for these curtains but it was just some leather cording I bought at Michael's so that's it you guys that is our patio I think we were able to take this kind of small basic space and turn it into something really cozy and really beautiful and the geese agree I guess anyways thank you guys so much for watching I have fun sharing all this stuff with you guys and I hope that you can kind of find some inspiration from things we did or you know seeing something like this so let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the video was and I want to thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye